and welcome to Crafting with Ty and Friends. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own custom ribbon using white girl screen ribbon, your whatever software you're designing in, your heat press or your iron and iron on transfer sheets. Today I'm going to be using light iron on transfer sheets. I normally use the dark ones but I'm currently out so I'm going to be doing this on the light transfer sheets. Now the first thing you want to do is to get the size of your ribbon. Hold on y'all, that's my heat press. <laughs> so you want to get the size of your ribbon. I'm going to be working with one and a half inch and seven eighth inch ribbon. So the first thing you want to do is create, open up your software of course, open up a new document, and then you want to insert a shape so we're going to do a square and basically you want to do this square the, uh, the length of your paper and the size of your ribbon so I'm going to be doing 1.5 and I'm going to do my shape fill to no fill and then what I'm going to do is just start designing my ribbon and you can put anything you in there that you would like so let me just do a Toy Story one real quick you just size your items to fit in your rectangle I'm just going to copy and paste this. And then I am going to just add some custom words. So we can just add a kid's name or whatever. You can use a ribbon for bows, belts, key fobs all type of items so once you design your ribbon you can keep the outline if you want or you can delete it I normally just delete it and then cut my ribbon I mean cut it out to the length that I need it well to the width that I need it so you remove that save as print and then we'll go on to the other one but here is my 7 8 inch ribbon here that I designed and I'm just going to copy and paste it over and over. So the width that I use, I mean the height that I use for this ribbon is 0.85. And it'll fit the 7, 8 inch gross grain ribbon. I'll just do a full page if I need it or, you know, a half a page and then add whatever other items. So basically this is just a baby shark ribbon that I'm doing here. Just fill up the page so I don't waste any page, any of the paper. Then I'm going to save as. And I have my 1.5 designed here. Now I'm going to print and then show you guys the next step. Now that you got your ribbon printed, you want to cut. Now I use either my scissors if I have the lines already there 
or I use one of my cutting boards and I just size it up and trim. Okay, so once you get your strips cut, you're gonna take your ribbon and your strips to wherever you're pressing that. If you're using your heat press or your iron, you're gonna take it there and you're going to place your strips over your ribbon and press our iron as you go. So let's go over to the press and get this ribbon done. So I have my press, my Teflon sheet, my ribbon and my strips, and I am going to begin to press. So I'm gonna be doing both ribbons at the same time. Just line them up as you press. Remember you can use your urn, a heat press is not needed. So I press it for like 10 seconds, maybe um, my press I think is on 315. strips be careful your ribbon will be hot your ribbon will be hot Once you get all your strips pressed to your ribbon, you can peel it back. If you are doing a design that needs to be lined up correctly, you will of course take your time because I sure didn't take my time when I did this one. So it's not completely lined. You can see a little white between it. And then this one is just all off at the end. And you can see it's off the ribbon. But overall, this is how you create your custom ribbon. Again, I normally like to use dark transfer sheets, but the light transfer sheets work just as well if you are using white ribbon. Now I have my baby birthday shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
And you can make as much as you need for whatever project you are creating. Thank you for watching. I said it's don't stop, don't stop, don't stop talking to me. Stop, don't stop, don't stop giving.